Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at using a proxy in conjunction with your phantoms available on phantombuster.com. We're gonna use a service called Bright Data, and I'm gonna show you how to take your Bright Data ISP proxy and integrate it into your phantoms. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Google Maps Search Export Phantom and the Facebook Ads Library Scraper Phantom using your new proxy from Bright Data. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, before we get started, keep in mind we have a full in-depth article on how to set up proxies in our help center, and we'll make sure to link to that article below. So now I'm at brightdata.com, and the first thing I wanna do is sign up and I'll put my first name, last name, and work email, and then answer a couple questions about company size and industry. Be sure to click on the uh, license agreement and privacy policy, and then click create account. Now, once your account's set up, you can navigate to the user dashboard by clicking on user dashboard, and you wanna navigate to the left-hand column and click on proxies, and then add zone. This will set up a new zone for your proxy. So I'll go in and click on ISP and make sure you have your pricing plan set up. And then you wanna scroll down and click on add zone. It says you're about to create a new zone, zone three. And I'll click yes. Now that your proxy has been set up, we wanna navigate over to our API settings and be sure that we have the login credentials for our proxy. So I'll go to left-hand margin again and click on API and integrations, and then click on proxy and web unlocker API. There's a number of options here at the top, but I'm gonna choose other software. And this will give me a proxy, a port, a username, and a password. You can find all the information on testing your proxy on our Help Center article called Proxy Not Working. We'll be sure to link to this article below. Okay, so now what I wanna do is connect my proxy from Bright Data into my Phantom Buster proxies. So I'll go to my Phantom Buster dashboard and click on my username and then navigate over to proxies. You can see I've already set up some proxies here, but basically what you wanna do is copy the address of the proxy, the username, and then the password. Be sure on the address, when you go and uh, copy over the proxy address, uh, that you combine it with the port number. And it's really easy to do that. All you need to do is put a colon after the proxy address, and then just paste the uh, port number uh, with no spaces. And then of course, your proxy username and proxy password. And then once you do that, you just click on add proxy. And so now when you go back into your phantoms, you'll be able to choose, in this case, my bright data uh, proxy and run your phantom with this particular proxy now that it's all working on my browser. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Again, if you need any help setting up this process, you can go to our Help Center article entitled How and Why to Use a Proxy. And then to be sure your proxy is working on your browser, uh, you wanna go to the Help Center article titled Proxy Not Working, and it'll walk you through that whole process for both Mac and Windows. Okay, so now I wanna set up my Google Maps search export phantom. So I'll head back over to my dashboard and I'll navigate to phantoms and then all categories. And then on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on Google. The first one should be Google Maps Search Export, so I'm gonna click on Use This Phantom. Now, there's a number of options you can use for the Google Maps Search Export Phantom. You can put in some keywords, which is not recommended, or you can put in a URL of a single maps search, uh, or you can do a Google Sheet with a list of Google Maps search URLs. Just be sure that you make that Google Sheet publicly available so that way Phantom Buster can go in and access that Google Sheets. For now, I'm just gonna use a single Google Maps search URL and I've done a search for barbershops in the Bratislava area. So keep in mind if you zoom in and out, that's gonna limit or expand the number of search results that you have. So I'm just gonna take this Google Maps search URL, right click and say copy, 
and then go back to my phantom and in the input section, right click and choose paste. There's also some additional settings if you're planning to use a spreadsheet. But for now, uh, I'll go ahead and click save. And then this is where you can type in the behavior, choose the browser's language, the number of spreadsheet rows to process per launch, but we're not using a spreadsheet, so we can leave that blank. And then the number of results to scrape per launch. I'm just gonna limit this to 10 results, but you can put in up to 200 results per search. There's also the results file settings, and you can choose to name the results.csv file that is outputted. Uh, but for now, everything looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. I'm gonna just go ahead and choose to run this manually and then notify me in case of an error. And the last thing we wanna do is click on the three dots here at the top on the right-hand side and choose Show Advanced Settings. Now, this is where I'm gonna tell the Phantom to use the proxy that I've set up through Bright Data. So I'll go ahead and scroll down to proxies, and then I'm gonna choose random proxy from pool. And then this is where I'm gonna choose my bright data proxy that I just set up. Go ahead and click save. And then now your Google Maps search export phantom is ready to launch. All you need to do now is click on launch. And depending on how many search results you're scraping, this may take some time. All right, our Google Maps search export phantom has completed running with our proxy from Bright Data. Now, if you want to check out the result.csv file, you can click the eye icon here to preview the data that you've scraped. Now, if you want to export this into a spreadsheet, all you need to do is say download CSV and that'll download it to your hard drive. Next, let's set up a Facebook ads scraper phantom using the same proxy that we've already set up. So I'll go ahead to my dashboard and click on phantoms and all categories. And on the left hand side, I'm going to scroll down to Facebook. And I'm going to find the Facebook ads library scraper and click on use this phantom. All right, so you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser. All you need to do now is click connect to Facebook, then click save. Now, this is where you wanna choose uh, to either have a Google spreadsheet URL, which has a number of uh, Facebook ads uh, search result URLs. Uh, you can use a CSV URL, just making sure it's publicly available, or you can use a single Facebook page URL. All right, so now I'm at the Facebook ads library and I'm gonna set up a search that I'm gonna scrape for all of the Facebook ads uh, in that search. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to search ads. I'm gonna choose United States, add a category. I'm just gonna choose all ads and then I'm gonna choose fitness and weight loss. I'm gonna narrow down my search results because currently there's 1700 search results. So I'm gonna use some of the filters. I'll go ahead and do uh, Instagram. And I'm gonna do uh, those with videos. And I'm gonna only choose the active ads. And that should be a good search uh, result. So I'm gonna apply those three filters and it'll come back with 720 results. So now what I'm gonna do is go up to the URL and right click and say copy, and then go back to my Facebook ads library scraper phantom, and in the input section, right click and choose paste. Next, I'll choose save. Here's where you can choose the behavior of your phantom. And since I'm not using a spreadsheet, I'm just using a single search URL, I can leave this blank. And then for the last uh, results, I'm gonna just choose 10 for now. Uh, under the advanced settings is where you can filter by country and you can even take a screenshot of each ad. And then finally, uh, the results file settings, you can choose to rename uh, the .csv file that gets outputted. Everything looks good here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And then now you can choose to run this manually or repeatedly, but you need to use a proxy, especially for anything related to Facebook or they'll lock your account. So again, we'll go up to the three dots here at the top and show advanced settings. 
And then I'm gonna scroll down and again, choose the bright data proxy that I've set up. I'll go ahead and choose random proxy from pool. Click on that. And then in the drop down, I'll go ahead and choose my bright data proxy. Next, I'll click save. Now my Facebook ads library scraper phantom is ready to launch. All I need to do now is click on launch. And again, depending on how many Facebook ads library ads that you wanna scrape, this may take some time. All right, so my Facebook ads library scraper phantom has completed running along with my proxy that I've set up with Bright Data. If I wanna preview the uh, ads that I scraped from Facebook ads library, I can just click on the eye icon here and get a preview of all of the information that I've just scraped. Now, if I wanna download this into a spreadsheet, all I need to do now is click on download CSV. All right, so that's how we set up a proxy using a service like Bright Data. To get the seven day free trial offer, make sure you go to phantombuster.com slash bright data. We also looked at two phantoms that use a proxy like the Google Maps search export phantom and the Facebook ad scraper phantom. To get signed up with Phantom Buster, be sure to set up your account at phantombuster.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.